So hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you a slightly different video in comparison to what we've been seeing on the channel recently. Last time I did a tips video and there were a lot of wonder kids around was a while ago and things have changed a lot on FIFA 18 career mode. So today I'm bringing you 12 young players that have been added to the game recently that are new wonder kids on FIFA 18 career mode and there's some absolute gems in here. There's some players that have been added literally the week I I am commentating this video so if you go on to enjoy it if you find some players that you're gonna sign in your career mode saves then feel free to slap a like on the video and of course subscribe if you are new to the channel everybody in this video has a potential of at least 83 and some a lot higher than that starting with this guy here Alfonso Davies now this guy I'm a little bit late to the party if I'm gonna be honest with you the rest of them are a bit more current but I couldn't miss this guy out the man who can play on both wings 67 rated He's actually got a potential of 85. When he was first added to the game, I think his potential was like 89 or something straight away. Very, very good player though. Uh, playing for uh, Vancouver Whitecaps from Canada. Very pacey, good dribbling. He's got three traits as well at the age of 16. Already burst onto the stage over in America. 67 rated, as I mentioned, 85 potential. Four star skill moves as well. And generally a very good player. I think he was added to the game right at the end of October slash the start of November. So yeah. A lot of people, you know, still may not know about him if you're doing a career mode save from the very start of the game. Now, I talked about players that have been added the week that I'm commentating this video. Here is one of them. Now, I'm going to have to prepare myself for the pronunciation here, but it's Dominic Zobajli. Zobajli. Zobajli, maybe. Probably, I'm not entirely sure. Hungarian. Uh, 64 rated attacking midfielder playing for Red Bull Salzburg. He's literally just been added to the game. So, if you're doing a career mode save and starting it now then you're going to be the only people that have this because he's literally very, very new to the game. At 16 years of age, 84 potential. Four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, very decent curve and free kick accuracy as well. 72 and 73 respectively, I believe. As well as decent dribbling, decent passing attributes as well. Very much a player to watch out for and pretty damn cheap as well. Next up is the man with the best potential in this video. It is 87 potential and 67 rated Amin Guri uh, from Olympic Lyonnais or Leon for sure. 17 years of age, very decent pace, good ball control, dribbling and finishing as well as shot power there, yellow penalties, I think that's 62. 67 rated though as I mentioned at the start of the game, can grow by 20 ratings by the time he reaches his potential. I think he was boosted by 4 um, in mid-November, so at the start of the game he was still good, but now he's an absolute wonder kid. 3 star weak for 3 star skill moves and a high attacking work rate is always good for a striker. And he is making his breakthrough for Leon this season over in League 1. Now this is someone else who's become very good this week. Philippe Sandler, PEC Zvola centre-back in the Eredivisie, 70 rated. Uh, he had 75 potential until like three days ago, and now it's 84. So he has very much been boosted, has young Philippe. I don't think his rating's been improved, he's just randomly now got a really good potential. Long passing trait, but obviously very good defensive stats, as you would expect. Decent passing, his pace is okay, could be improved upon, but it's good enough to party realistically, and I'm sure it'll improve by the time he reaches his potential of 84. But one of two players in this video who was very much recently uh, boosted by quite a, a substantial amount in terms of potential. Now next up is someone else that you may know, there's probably two players really that you will definitely know in this video, one of which we've seen at the start was Alfonso Davis, and the second person is this man here, Marcus Tavernier, because they both got 87 potential. 63 rated, another left midfielder, this time playing for Middlesbrough in the championship. 18 years of age, you can probably pick him up for about two million pounds. Technical dribbler as well, but he might not even be two mil, because his overall is so low at the start of the game. You can probably pick him up for like one or one and a half, Three star skill moves, three star weak foot, ridiculous potential and ridiculous possibility for this guy. I think his potential was 82 or 83 at the start of the game, so it's been boosted quite a lot over the course of the last few weeks. Now moving into a slightly more uh, sort of discreet league, we've got the uh, Belgian league and the Belgian based striker Crepin Diata. Look at his acceleration, sprint speed and agility. For an 18 year old at 67 overall, all of them being dark green is ridiculous. His dribbling is 73 as well, so very agile player, very good dribbling, very pacey and good balance as well. Someone's gonna run at defenders 
and run past them with ease. Uh, can play as a centre forward, striker or as a left midfielder. High attacking work rate on this guy, at 67 rated at the start of the game as I mentioned. Uh, he was boosted by I think plus 3 or plus 4. Um, to 86 potential was the man from I think Senegal if my flag ge geography knowledge isn't letting me down there so definitely someone to watch out for and someone in a slightly more lesser known league which is always kind of cool sometimes to buy players from after that though we've got Alessandro Pizzari uh, the Milan goalkeeper though I believe he is out on loan to a second division Italian side not entirely sure which one it is 65 rated though he has been boosted by potential by about four since uh, about October so over the course of November and December, he's got significantly better and is now one of Italy's most promising players and certainly goalkeepers on the game. Uh, obviously, he's got the likes of Donnarumma to, to, um, to compete against. I think this guy actually played his debut against Internazionale to replace Gianluigi Donnarumma, who was injured. He's got potential now of 86. I don't know if I mentioned that, but a very good player there in Alessandro Pizzari. And next up, we now move to another player who's just recently been added to the game as recently as three days ago. This is Sergio Gomez who this week was added to the FC Barcelona B roster. He is 16 years of age and 61 overall, with the potential to grow to 83 as an overall potential. But I would expect that to increase a little bit. Decent pace, dribbling, ball control, shot power as well there in the yellows. But overall, his athleticism is by far his best overall attribute. Left-footed, three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, medium attacking and defensive work rate for the man who can play as a left winger. Though I'm sure you get away with playing him in the left midfield position if you absolutely needed to. Moving over to Germany now for the American Western McKenney, 69 rated playing for Schalke, can play as a centre mid and defensive mid, 82 aggression, uh, 78 jumping and I think his stamina was very good there as well, heading accuracy and short passing decent, his tackling uh, attributes are good as you would expect for a more holding midfielder, 18 years of age, I don't really know the backstory about this guy, I know a lot of American players do end up playing in the Bundesliga, especially for Schalke seemingly, uh, whether he was signed by Schalke very recently or whether he actually just came through their youth academy. Not entirely sure, but he's got a potential of 84. That's been boosted a couple of times during the course of November. So again, fairly recently has become a very good player. 69 overall at the start of the game, potential to rise to 84. Nicola Del Monte is I think the third to last player in this video. 67 rated, acceleration, sprint speed, agility, balance and jumping are all pretty decent. Not explosive, but pretty decent for a 19 year old. Can play on both wings, can the man playing for Cesena at the moment, who I think are a second tier Italian side. 67 overall at the start of the game. He has now got 84 potential, that was improved from 76. Uh, this week, literally the same as uh, the centre-back from Holland, Philippe Sandler, they were both upgraded by almost 10 overall in terms of potential this week. So Nicola Del Monte has gone from being a very average prospect to suddenly being a bit of a wonder kid. Two-star skill moves though does let him down a little bit, but at least he's got high attacking work rate. But ultimate player in this video then is the Portuguese-based striker Rafael Leao. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Can play as a left mid, 66 overall uh, for the striker, 18 years of age. He's got a potential of 86 and once again that has been boosted a couple of times during the course of November and December to the point where he's now a very, very damn decent player. Two traits there being flair and technical dribbler. His pace and agility is very very good and he's also got four star skill moves to go along with that as well as four star weak foot and high attacking work rate which is always really really cool to see. So a bit of a stacked striker there in terms of con uh, sort of not cons in terms of positives there we go uh, about him. So a very decent player and probably a good one to use as well overall uh, in actual game. But the final player then in this video is South Korean Yu Ju An, who plays for Suwon Samsung Blue Wings. Decent pace on this guy, again a little bit like Del Monte, not exactly explosive, but it will improve given he's so young. 18 years of age, 67 overall at the start of the game, and he has a potential of 85. His potential I think was boosted in December, so again, fairly recently, within the last month and a half. High attacking work rate, three star weak foot, three star skill moves, and another player that might have just slipped under your radar because he wasn't actually very, you know, very highly rated at the start of the game. This is the thing, sometimes it's very easy for players to just slip under the radar completely because they weren't necessarily that good at the start of the game. I mean, I, it's the same with me. I knew about Marcus Tavernier and Alfonso Davies and Plitzari. 
but then the likes of Philippe Sandler, had no idea about him, Crepin Diata, I didn't know about him until I started researching this video, and even Amin Guri, the guy from Lyon, I didn't know he had a potential of 87, which is so ridiculously high, and that's because I haven't started a career mode save since then, but if you're looking to start one, then these guys are definitely players to check out and definitely have a look at. And so it's because they're very cheap as well, all of them are so ridiculously cheap at the start of the game. So very much good value for money. Hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, tips video here on FIFA 18 career mode. If you have, then make sure to slap a like on the video and of course subscribe for similar content in the future. Got a new series coming up this weekend as well, all things being equal. So I hope you guys are looking forward to whatever that may well be. I'll release more information about it on social media and various other things. Speaking of social media, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at the official FNG. Links to that are down below. And my Instagram is exactly the same, at the official FNG over there, and links are down below once again. But it's been an absolute pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. Yo, massive pills. I roll out with some monsters, looks like your team and you watches. I don't know what with imposters, sound like the man in the Oscars. I'm drunk of Henry and Foster's. I have a career, I am jobless. This bitch have f me so hard, I might just end up unconscious. I like girls in lingerie, especially if it is crushless. Bitch, I am the bigger picture. There is no way you can crop it.